Automatic motorcycles have faced a significant challenge in winning over the broader motorcycle community, even though they have demonstrated their worth to riders. However, the tide is shifting, and it's only a matter of time before electric motors replace the cherished combustion engines, leading to a widespread adoption of motorcycles with automatic transmissions. Whether you're already intrigued by automatic transmissions or feel the need to familiarize yourself with electric alternatives, we've compiled a list of the finest automatic motorcycles available. This list encompasses both conventional gasoline-powered bikes and electric models. Hello, and welcome to Big Show TV, I thank you all for supporting our channel. Let's start the topic. Lightning LS-218 The Lightning LS-218 stands proudly among the world's swiftest production motorcycles, boasting a remarkable top speed of 218 miles per hour, all driven by an electric motor generating a robust 200 horsepower. Visually, the LS-218 closely resembles a classic supersport motorcycle, although it carries a slightly heavier weight. However, when it comes to performance, it not only matches but surpasses flagship traditional models. Notably, it holds the coveted world land speed record for being the fastest production motorcycle, whether electric or otherwise. Lightning has also joined forces with Race Tech to engineer a track-ready suspension system. Lightning has a promising future ahead, but if you're eager to be an early adopter, the LS-218 presents an incredible starting point. Currently, they are accepting reservations for this remarkable model. Energica EGO Plus RS. An automatic sports bike, you say? Picture this. The Energica EGO is like a glimpse into an alternate reality where Ducati decided to venture into the world of electric motorcycles. Hailing from Medina, Italy, the Energica Motor Company is a proud member of the CRP Group, renowned in the realms of motorsport and cutting-edge technologies. The EGO made its debut back in 2013 at the EICMA show, and since then, it has steadily ascended to become the undisputed leader of its class. This bike is ingrained with the DNA of racing, exuding an air of exclusivity and quality that matches its outstanding performance. For those seeking the pinnacle, the EGO RS takes the lead with enhanced acceleration and off-the-line prowess. Energica has equipped the RS with their latest ECME motor, shedding 10 kilograms in weight while offering an impressive city range of up to 261 miles. Prepare to witness an impressive racing machine that can challenge the likes of your friends on our 1S, Ninjas, and Gixxers. It's also bound to turn the heads of enthusiasts loyal to Italian superstars such as Ducati and Aprilia. Zero FXE The FXE presents itself as a nimble, lightweight motorcycle, a stylish choice for daily commuting. For novice riders, this electric option is a perfect fit. It offers enough power to facilitate learning, room for growth, and even some enjoyable rides without the intimidating force that might deter newcomers. With more torque than strictly necessary, a ride on the FXE can be exhilarating. Think of it as the electric equivalent of a 250 cubic centimeters motorcycle. Its 100 mile range serves its purpose well since this bike isn't meant for long haul journeys. Instead, it's designed for around town commuting and weekend escapades with your riding buddies on back roads. Zero DSR slash X. Zero Motorcycles is a renowned manufacturer, recognized for crafting some of the finest electric motorcycles available in today's market. Among their remarkable offerings, the DS range, their line of dual sport motorcycles, stands out as particularly exciting. In particular, the DSR-X exudes a distinct Africa twin-inspired style and proves itself as a genuinely capable dual sport machine. With features like ample ground clearance, seamless power delivery, an abundance of torque, adjustable suspension, and the distinction of being the first electric bike equipped with Bosch's Off-Road Motorcycle Stability Control (MSC), this motorcycle is truly exceptional. 
In terms of range, it boasts an impressive 180 miles for city riding and approximately 115 miles for combined city and highway cruising at 70 miles per hour, providing more than enough range for an enjoyable ride. Furthermore, this model supports fast charging, enabling a rapid charger to boost the bike's battery to 95% in just one hour, ensuring minimal downtime between adventures. Livewire 1 a few years back, Harley-Davidson made a significant entrance into the electric motorcycle arena with the Livewire, marking their maiden foray into this innovative territory. This groundbreaking move not only turned heads but also signaled the first substantial electric motorcycle from any of the major manufacturers, and it was none other than the iconic American V-twin giants themselves. Subsequently, Harley-Davidson established a distinct division known as Livewire to exclusively handle all matters related to their electric endeavors. At the forefront of their electric venture is the Livewire 1, a motorcycle that embodies power, refinement, and modernity. Sporting an impressive combined range of 145 miles in the city and 95 miles on the highway, it boasts a DC fast charger that can revitalize the battery to a full 100% charge in a mere 60 minutes. Safety and enjoyment are paramount, as evidenced by its comprehensive features like cornering ABS, drag torque slip control system, and cornering traction control. While it may not bear the traditional V-twin character, the Livewire 1 stands as a highly capable and strikingly attractive motorcycle in its own right. Aprilia Mana 850 If you're in the market for a used automatic motorcycle, the Aprilia Mana 850, manufactured between 2007 and 2011, deserves your serious consideration. During this era, Aprilia motorcycles were often dubbed as Italian Hondas, so it's no surprise that the Aprilia Mana 850 received Honda's automatic transmission technology, specifically a CVT unit. Additionally, it offered the flexibility to switch into manual mode, providing control over a 7-speed sequential gearbox. The Mana 850 emerged as a unique blend of scooter and motorcycle qualities, embodying the style of a motorcycle while incorporating the practicality typically associated with scooters. This included ample storage space under the fuel tank cover, large enough to accommodate a full-face helmet. It proved to be an agile, well-handling bike, ideally suited for city commuting and impressively comfortable for longer rides. Simply engage the auto mode for a hassle-free daily commute, and when the weekend arrives, switch to manual mode for a more traditional motorcycling experience. For those seeking a versatile, all-around workhorse capable of handling various scenarios, the Aprilia Mana 850 might be the ideal choice. Honda Rebel 1100 If you're inclined to challenge conventions, then the Rebel might just be your perfect choice, offering a departure from the norm in more ways than one. Cruisers represent one of the most traditional and time-honored motorcycle styles, with a history dating back to the early days of motorcycling. To outfit one with a dual-clutch transmission DCT, might raise some eyebrows among purists. After all, the signature clunky, robust gear changes are an inherent part of the V-Twin experience, much like the thunderous roar and tangible vibrations. However, Honda, a brand known for its innovative spirit, took a bold step forward with the Honda Rebel 1100, introducing an optional dual-clutch transmission upgrade. With its 1,084 cubic centimeters engine at its core, this cruiser transcends into a legitimate touring machine. The DCT, in particular, simplifies long-haul cruising, especially when complemented by the same cruise control system found on the Gold Wing. Where the DCT truly shines on the Rebel is when you venture onto winding back roads for some spirited riding. Here, the transmission reveals its true prowess, delivering smooth and seamless shifts that enhance the joy of riding. In essence, you get all the coveted attributes of a V-twin cruiser without the cumbersome gear shifts and the effort of a heavy clutch lever pull. Quite the rebel move, one might say. Apologies for the pun. Honda NC750X
The NC750X stands as a remarkably approachable and user-friendly motorcycle, marking the second Honda model to embrace the dual-clutch transmission DCT, technology as early as 2012. Much like its counterparts, you have the choice of either a conventional manual transmission or an automatic one. This bike reigns supreme in the realm of practicality and versatility, serving as the ultimate all-rounder. It's an automatic street bike perfectly suited for daily commutes, leisurely day rides, adventurous weekends, and even extensive tours. Where it truly distinguishes itself is in its ingenious design. Instead of a traditional fuel tank, there's a capacious 23-liter storage compartment, providing ample room to stow your gear. Say goodbye to lugging around your full-face helmet when you stop in town, it now has a dedicated home. Seating on the NC750X is a comfortable and neutral affair, with wide handlebars that put you squarely in control of the bike. It's a confidence-inspiring riding position that affords you a commanding view of the road ahead. In essence, the NC750X earns its reputation as the Swiss Army knife of Honda motorcycles, ready to adapt to any task or adventure you throw its way. Honda Gold Wing Much like its sibling, the Africa Twin, the Honda Gold Wing offers you a choice between a manual 6-speed transmission or the convenience of an automatic DCT 7-speed transmission. When you reach the stage in your riding journey where you find yourself atop a gold wing, you've truly earned the privilege to sit back and savor the ride. And that's precisely what the gold wing is designed for. Be it a long-haul journey or comfortable touring, regardless of your transmission preference, the Honda Gold Wing defines what a proper touring motorcycle should be. It's a substantial, heavyweight machine, and the DCT option elevates the riding experience by delivering smoother and more effortless transitions. The 7th Gear Overdrive becomes your best friend during highway cruising. Engage cruise control, and you'll find yourself gliding through long stretches of road, soaking in the scenery and embracing the journey. For DCT models, there's the nifty walking mode, a feature that allows you to maneuver the bike at a gentle walking pace, both forwards and backwards. This feature simplifies slow speed maneuvers, even with the bike's considerable weight. In terms of electronics, the Gold Wing is generously equipped. It boasts hill start assistance, a reverse gear, throttle by wire technology, selectable torque control levels, and a comprehensive multimedia center. In essence, the Honda Gold Wing represents the pinnacle of long distance touring ensuring that every mile of your journey is a comfortable and luxurious experience. Honda Africa Twin The Africa Twin has now embraced the dual-clutch transmission option, introducing smoother gear shifts and minimal drive disruption. This enhancement pays dividends off-road, where it bolsters tire traction on dirt terrain. Riders can now toggle between three distinct riding modes, manual, automatic drive, and automatic sport mode. This versatility ensures adaptability to a wide range of riding conditions. Honda has given the Africa Twin a more pronounced focus on its adventure bike off-road capabilities. This translates to dual sport style refinements, including a lighter build, taller suspension, and elevated handlebars compared to previous models. However, it's essential to note that it remains a capable road bike. The integration of the DCT with the inertial measurement unit (IMU) means that the gears respond intelligently to the bike's angle, optimizing performance whether you're on or off the road. The suite of electronics on this machine is truly impressive, offering riders a wide range of adjustability to fine-tune their ride experience. Plus, the generous low-end torque ensures there's ample power on hand for tackling challenging off-road scenarios.